Uh, the next thing I'm going to show is Sodom and Gomorrah. Then the Lord rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. And he overthrew those cities and all the plain and all the inhabitants of the cities and that which grew upon the ground. But his wife looked back from behind him, and she became a pillar of salt. I know, it sounds crazy, but just listen to what this guy has to say and see what he has to show you. It's very interesting. Down. I really want to find one of those stones to show you. That is not a normal shape. That doesn't look natural at all. <laughs> that is definitely seems to be a man-made shape. And is this not enough evidence for people to, to find all of these man-made looking structures Ashen remains crumble in your hands in the location where we're told in the Bible as, a, as evidence of God's judgment, as uh, described by Josephus, historian, but then also finding circular, almost pure sulfur balls in the middle of the ash, in the middle of the walls and the shapes of the buildings. Is this not enough evidence for us to, to see that a, the Bible is true, and B, God is a just God, and we need a saviour, because sin requires punishment. Sin is, it brings on the wrath of God, and this place is the evidence of the wrath, the wrath of God, a holy God who is righteous and true, and this place was very rebellious, and uh, not only went into sexual deviance and other deviances, but was also a place that was going into the spiritual um, abominations, much like we see written about the mark of the beast and the hybridization and the, you know, the uh, merging with the fallen and, and all of these things. So this seems to be a place that was going into that and received absolute annihilation turned to dust with fire and brimstone that rained down from heaven. The brimstone is still evident in these ash structures, still evident, pure sulfur. And I believe has been studied and, and checked and found to be almost entirely pure. Some of the purest, if not the purest, that you can find in the world is in these ashen remains. Come on, folks. Let's turn to the almighty God who saved us from our sin and pardoned us from the penalty that we deserved. And that Jesus, Yeshua, Jesus Christ, his son, who took that wrath for our eternal iniquity against God on the, on the tree, on the cross, and took our punishment away. We have been saved. Turn to him. Turn to him before it's too late. Because hell is real. Hell is eternal. And uh, if we don't accept the, the one who paid the price in full and settled the legal requirement for our sins, if we don't turn to him, we will suffer for eternity justly because we deserve it, and we've sinned against a holy and almighty God. After all this time, I found one. Ladies and gentlemen, a sulfur ball in the ruins of the city. This has been tested before, and these are almost, you know, very highly pure sulfur. Look at that, look at that. A perfect sulfur ball, just like the Bible says that fire and sulfur destroyed this place. Wow. <laughs> I'm so glad I found one 
rain, rain fire and brimstone from heaven to destroy this city, the ashen remains of this city. I have found one, it is real, they are here, embedded into the ashen ruins. Okay, with this piece of sulphur that I managed to find, I'm now going to burn it and see what happens. Here we go. It's the back of your throat. James here, therefore lay aside all filthiness and overflow of wickedness and receive with meekness the planted word which is able to save your souls. Be a doer of the word. Let's live out the word of God and be merciful to others. So speak as so do as those who will be judged by the law of liberty for judgment is without mercy to the one who has shown no mercy. Mercy triumphs over judgment. God's mercy has triumphed over his judgment. He has shown us mercy that we did not deserve by saving us through Jesus. God in the flesh came and paid the price for our sin and showed us mercy when we did not deserve mercy. So we are all sinners and we would all be condemned if it wasn't for Jesus. God loves us so much that he sent his only son that whoever should believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life.